In our top story tonight, you will be required once again to mask up in Salt Lake City. Mayor Aaron Mendenhall made an executive order today requiring masks in all city facilities effective immediately. New specialist Debbie Worthen joins us live from the city county building. Debbie, is this for everyone or just those who aren't fully vaccinated? It's for everyone, and Mayor Erin Mendenhall says she is following the newest guidelines set out by the CDC, and she says this is directly related to the rise in cases of COVID due to that Delta variant across the country and right here in Salt Lake City. So my abilities to require masks are, are limited in their scope over the course of the pandemic, but I'm using them to their full extent to require that city employees and members of the public who come into city buildings wear face masks when they're in any city facility. And just like that, masks are back. And just like that. I think that when you mandate it to certain places that you're taking a lot of our freedom away. Opinions are split. I'm happy to wear a mask. I don't see any problem with it. Mayor Mendenhall says she is committed to keeping Salt Lake City employees safe after a tough fight with COVID. In Salt Lake City Corporation, we have more than 3,000 employees. Unfortunately, we have had losses to COVID-19. Savannah is 22. Bonnie is a nurse. She says people should be allowed to use common sense. I don't feel that the numbers are high enough for her to, to be able to do that at this point. Mayor Mendenhall disagrees, and so do some others. I think they should wear masks, especially with the Delta variant even higher right now. I think we should wear masks. I think they should mandate it for stores as well. There are exceptions to the executive order. Those with specific medical conditions aren't required to mask up. And you can still be maskless while eating and drinking inside a city facility. Also, if wearing a mask creates a risk or if your face needs needs to be bare to confirm your identity. These are other times you won't have to wear a mask. Yes. Same goes for outdoor areas while social distancing and for children younger than three years old. We need to be safe. We want to be able to go home and be safe. And this is the easiest thing really that we can do. The mandate will be in effect until further notice. More people are getting infected and even people who are vaccinated are getting infected. So I personally don't want COVID. So I'm okay with masks. Mendenhall says the virus is evolving and she is committed to evolve as well, as well as a city to keep people safe. She says the city has always looked to the CDC and health experts to guide her movements. And she says this is no different. Mike? A lot of strong opinions on both sides there. Debbie Worthen live for us tonight in Salt Lake City. Debbie, thank you.